hi so in this video we're going to see the other microsoft powershell eso integrated script environment so let's open it always remember to run as administrator i will repeat it every time until you get it so the windows powershell isu it's starting so like you see this is the windows powershell isu uh, when you see it in the first time it look like very complicated or harder to work it work with it but it's very very easy to use it and very simple so if you remember in the first time when we want to for example go in the c and for example in the new folder when we want to create a script to open the uh, calculator so what we do is we create a new txt file then we rename it as calc for example and we change the txt to cmd that's mean command cmd okay then we open this uh, co uh, this calc command and type for example calc and save it then we run it and see what will happen uh, it's not function then again we need to back to the calc and edit it then we complete the command for example dot exe let's save it again then uh, run this file again like you see and here is it the calculator work it so you see how much step we do to get this uh, command run uh, from this file right here but now by using the uh, microsoft powershell aic we have the script right here we can write the script then we can see the result right here so uh, if we for example want to run the command uh, calc we tap calc dot exe and add the second command for example the third and then we just click run run script like you see here is it, it's run automatically for example if we want to add another command for example dire so then click run so it's uh, start to calculate and the next command dire it's working etc so like you see we can create a lot of all the scripts then see what will happen it's uh, a combination for example cls then run it does mean run the calculator then run the command there then clean everything of course uh, this don't have any meaning to uh, start dire and clean because uh, it will give us uh, an empty result but the idea is that you can create all your command right here then start it for example if you config a server uh, if you have some command to config a lot of server or for example in my work i config the cisco aza in our network we have more than thousand cisco aza so when config a uh, cisco aza we run uh, some commands to config it for example 20 or 40 uh, command of course i will not going to repeat those all those commands every time when i want to config uh, as a cisco so what i do i uh, write all the script right here so all the script of configuring uh, one cisco as a here then i uh, run the script by start and he execute all this command in one cisco then when i connect another cisco just pass the same uh, script here and click run and he will do in all the command step one by one so he execute the uh, command number one then go to command number two then the command number three so this tool is help us to see the result that we will going to do it by a lot of command in this screen right here like we know powershell have a lot lot of command and a lot a lot of model that uh, work with the powershell 
Of course, I don't need to memorize all those command or all those model to work with it. So for that, uh, Microsoft uh, make a small widget right here that contains almost all the command that you needed. You just need to use the logical to get any command that you want to use it in your script. For example, here you see different module. Of course, this is a limited number of module. You can add it a lot of module. It's in relation about the software that you use in your computer. For example, if you use the virtual machine, you will find here another module about virtual machine. Uh, if you use Active Directory, you find uh, some Active Directory command, etc. Exchange, uh, etc. So, for example, if you are a web administrator and need to run some uh, web administrator command, you just need to choose the module web administrator. So here you see all the command in relation about web administration. So when you use the logical and want, for example, to start a website, you need to uh, run a command about uh, to start a website. So logically, uh, the command should be started by the action start so what you do it's to search for a start command like you see gate enable that's mean enable uh, some same thing for example start new you see here remove then we have restart rename set then we have start like you see start web app pull start web community community delay start web item start website stop web app for example i want to start a website so automatically here is the command that we're going to start a website for example you want to start a web commit delay so this is the command that will work to start a web command a web commit delay so when you chose for example this command start website i show you a details about uh, the, the function of this command to import the web administrator module and its uh, cmd including start website click show details so this command should uh, this model should be uploaded in the microsoft powershell i will explain you later uh what does mean to upload a module in this uh, microsoft powershell so there are a problem so for example let's try another module that we're going to work uh, easily for example, if we want to use the app locker, and here is we want, for example, create a new new app locker policy. So just we need to click show detail, and he will upload it in the uh, Windows PowerShell. Like you see, he give you the parameter that need to be used with this command new app locker policy. Like you see, he ask you the command that you need to add it here the command right here the information the value etc so when you get the command you just need to click insert so you see this answer is added right here or for example you copy and paste it in the script for example here so here is it the command just added in your script so when you add some command and you want for example to delete it you just need to use this clean console pane so i clean everything from this uh, console so for example you can find any command that you want you just need to go ahead and search the module that you want to use for example then search the command uh, choose it then he will give you some help about how to use just insert it or copy it and paste it in a new line etc so this will make easy to get any command that you want to use it without need to memorize all the command that you want to work with it also you can if you remember uh, some information about the command you can just add the search by name for example we want app look for example he give you all the command that comes app locker here is git app locker new app locker sit app locker test app locker etc for example web administrator web application for example web app domain web app etc you just click on the command and add it in your uh, script so this makes it easy to use the script so for people who see that the power sheet is very hard or very complex no truly is very very easy to use the powershell and just you need to use the logical uh, thinking to get all those common 
Of course, you have to choose the theme that you want to use the, the uh, Microsoft PowerShell integrated script environment. You can use the script to show up here or here or just, for example, like that to get uh, only the script. You can use the show command or detail about anything, etc. Also, you can use this button to start uh, PowerShell in separate windows. For example, like you can see here. And you can use the PowerShell in separate windows to start running directly. Also, this show you details about the command, how this command, for example, limit event long, how it's written. They ask you to add the information necessary to run this command, etc. This version of Windows PowerShell integrated script, hey, show me the editing windows the command windows to help me get any command and the console of the windows power shell to show you the results that you execute so one last thing is about uh, another version when we're talking about uh, version 4 for people who use the windows 10 the new operation system windows 10 he found that they have a version 5 in his operation system of course, uh, the version 5 uh, have some upgrade from the version 4, but it's not uh, some very important. The one thing that I remark in the new version is that he make a solution for this problem of the select day of the week. When we change the property, he, give, uh, he already fixed it in the next version to, to avoid this mistake and uh, some uh, optimization to make it easy for the user so in this video it, uh, this is the end of the first section about orientation and requirements now you have a good start in the main windows powershell to avoid those problem this technical problem and use the powershell easy so see you in the next section for the next level